Hey, yo, what's shaking? It's Mr. Cab Cabernet. That's Chef Cabernet to you. And welcome back to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Dining of the Day. As you can see, I got my uh, camouflage fatigues on. My uh, hunting gear. I'm definitely on my Elma Fudd-ish right now. Because, um, as you guessed it, it is officially rabbit season at Chateau de Cabernet. We're on the hunt for a rabbit. We're gonna hook up a nice rabbit dish. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbit. Stay tuned. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Cabernet. I want to invite you. Oh, Mr. Well, I'm quite certain that I could find some uh, ducks out here. I've seen them. But we're looking for wabbits. Okay, so let's see what we can find. This looks like, definitely looks like a, a rabbit in, in, infested, infested area. Then, huh? What do you think? You think we'll be able to find some, some rabbits out here? I think so. Let's see. Gotta be a better way. There has to be a better way to find a rabbit to cook. So, where does the chef find rabbit in modern day USA? Can you guess? Well, you guessed it. The supermarket. This is the uh, forest of the kitchen. We got octopus. Uh, this looks like a whole octopus. Yeah, we got whole octopus. We got bite-sized octopus chunks. We got um. This looks like fake seafood. Yeah, we don't want that. Got some uh, wild caught salmon. Uh, what is this? Looks like crab, Dungeness crab, some scallops, uh, lobster claws and arms. But I was told I could I could find some some rabbit over here. What do we got? These look like tilapias. Got fish heads, whole lobsters. Um, kingfish. That looks good. Still no rabbit. Crab claws, crawl, fish. Okay, here we go. Game hen. We're getting gamey. We're getting gamey. Beef tongues. I found my rabbit. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. 
Yeah. So, what do you think about when it comes to rabbits, right? What do you think about when it comes to a, a, a rabbit dish? So a lot of this comes from the cartoons for me, like just nostalgia. Um, but when you think also of just a rabbit and its inhabit, its habitat, I think of like, you know, what does a rabbit eat? <laughs> right? So rabbit stew comes to mind automatically. You know, what does a rabbit eat? You know, lettuce, cabbage, carrots, celery, potatoes, you know. That sounds like, that, that, it just, it's, it sounds like a rabbit stew already. It's like, it's like you, you want to put, you want to you wanna cook the rabbit and the, and the type of food that it eats. <laughs> Again, a lot of that I'm sure is just nostalgic. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this rabbit. I think rabbit stew is a little cliche, but it could it could be delicious. I'm gonna figure that out. Stay tuned. Crushed grapes is a lifestyle, the lifestyle of enjoying life. Many of us aspire to this lifestyle. This is our standard. If you have a passion for wine, cigars, music, fashion, art, business, pleasure, or leisure, you are part of the lifestyle consumer community. Crushed Grapes Lifestyle, Harlem, USA, by Cab Cabernet. the new sign huh? yeah, me too. Uh, what's on the menu tonight at Chateau de Cabernet is a rascally roasted rabbit okay aka roast rabbit for the folks who, who had a f***ed up childhood and, and didn't get uh, didn't get a chance to meet the Looney Tunes ladies and gentlemen after countless hours and braving uncharted terrains for wabbit, okay? And what we're gonna do with the wabbit, I think I finally got it. So what do we got here, okay? What do we got here? We have, uh, <laughs> once again, <laughs> uh, shit that rabbits eat. We got some uh, vegetables, we got some broccoli, carrots, some um, cauliflower, mix we got some small uh medley of medley of small potatoes and i have taken the liberty to uh take this rabbit and uh i've uh thawed the rabbit thoroughly in the fridge for a couple days i've also uh marinated it last night in this ziploc freezer bag with various herbs such as fresh thyme, rosemary, basil, uh, oregano, cilantro, uh, as well as, of course, salt and pepper, garlic, and um, some white wine vinegar and a splash of uh, extra virgin olive oil, right? So all that's left for this to make this recipe is little white wine. So for those of you who have never actually seen a dead rabbit, this is what it looks like, okay? This is the hind leg. This is the body. This is the rib area. This is the front legs. And this is where the head would have been, where it was before they chopped it off. And, um, you know, it, it looks fairly like a you know, chicken, you know, it's, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's clean. And um, this has been sitting in the fridge, like I said, with lemons and herbs and garlic and, oh, wee, look at that. I want to do some potatoes with it. Um, medley of mini potatoes. And we're going to throw these vegetables in. Um, you know, during the last maybe 
10, 15 minutes of the dish so that they don't get soggy. And then we're gonna um, dump them in this pot right here, okay? And oven is at 350. We're going to roast this for about an hour. Stay tuned. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this, um, instead of the trusted butcher, uh, chef's knife, we're gonna pull out the machete tonight, okay? Let's so see you see what we're dealing with here. Razor sharp. And um, this is what we use for skinning and chopping bones, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna carve this baby up. We're, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do, you know, like portions of the rabbit um, to make this, to make this dish. So let's get rid of this. Okay. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do legs, thighs, um, breast wings, just like a chicken, really. But we got a spine here that we gotta get through. So let's just start right here with the um with the legs. Okay, that's done a leg. It's two. Okay. And we will then let's get into this um chest cavity here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just rib cage. Break these ribs open. Uh -huh. Yes, I know it's barbaric, but it's necessary. And then let's just, um, Let's do this. Mm -hmm. okay, so right there. Put this for this side as well. Keep the spine. Attack. We don't really need this one. Let's take these pieces. We don't need those ribs. We just want the meat. That's what we want. Keep the meat, spin out the bone, as they say. Yeah, so now uh, let's take these little legs, these little shoulders and arms, let's say. basically it. We don't really need this stuff. It's just bones. Uh, it's good to make a stew with it. Maybe I'll do that when we want to. But right now we have our we have our portions here. This is what's going in to the pot along with the potatoes. We'll take this pot right here. Let's move this to the side. Okay. Voila, take this apart. Okay. And we are going to just place these in here like so. Put the big pieces in the middle. You can surround this however you want. You know, you want to make it, you know, have some fun with it. That's that's fine. But it really doesn't matter. Okay. That looks cute enough. I guess. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up 
some of these potatoes. I was just gonna put them in a hole like that, but I think I think it'd be uh, it's a better look if we chop them up. So we're just gonna take these potatoes and you know chunky rustic cuts. Okay, stir them in there. That's how we're gonna do them. You know, nothing fancy, no fancy Nancy. Just rustic thick chops and cuts because this is a rustic dish really it is and the skull of the dish is besides the actual rabbit is is going to be the the wine braise okay um the the the, the marinade you know um that's going to be thrown in there in a moment after all these potatoes going here, you know, I'm gonna throw some water in here and some wine. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, again, once again, you're not really gonna see this dish ever in life. Okay, not, not not the way I do it. Everything I do is original dishes that I come up with. And um, I just freestyle with it. That's the that's just the the artist in me. Okay. Now we're gonna put the rest of this marinade. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff that this has been sitting in all this time. Last day. 24 hours okay along with the lemon so that alone is going to make this right but so we're going to do a pinot grigio braise yeah uh-huh and i think that should do it no cold water. Get the steam rocking. And there we go. That's it. So we're going to throw this in to the pot without the vegetables for about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Uh, throw, we're going to throw these veggies in about 10, 15 minutes before it's done at the end so that they don't get soggy and overcooked. Okay. We're going to do a little more black pepper just for good measure. Uh, we don't need any more salt because I made sure that I used some uh, decent helpings of sea salt um, during the uh, marinade stage so that the ma the salt would preserve the um, actual meat. So here we go. We're going into the oven right here. Okay. You can see we got it on uh, 350. That's perfect. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right there. Beautiful. Oh, it's just a waiting game, ladies and gentlemen. We got about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going to sip some more wine. I'm going to uh, twiddle my thumbs and um, you know, maybe write a rhyme or two or something. You know what I'm saying? In the meantime. So, I'll be back in about 45 minutes. Stay tuned.
is a song about my collection East selections, been aged to perfection So sit your ass down gracefully I got 99 bottles, won't you taste with me? <laughs> now sugar, tell me what you wanna taste first But say the best for last, just in case it tastes worse Now uh, let us begin with something like some white Like Pinot Grigio and we can do what you like Break out the Rydell stemware Jacuzzi full of champagne things and swimwear How about the tag to J Blanc to Blanc She got legs, full body and badonk a donk A little jar of saruva or bavua caviar Open another bottle, we's about lifestyle to have fun Great grapes is a lifestyle But you gotta right. sip it slow Sip right. it slow And baby, okay. if you lifestyle. didn't know the lifestyle Baby, now Can't you know Now you know Fresh no. 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 grapes is a lifestyle But you gotta yeah, sip it slow Sip it slow If you didn't know about right the lifestyle here. Baby, now you, know. now you know Now you know So it's been about 30 minutes. <clears throat> Let's check on this rascally roasted wabbit. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Let's see what we're looking like. Uh -huh. Looking pretty good, pretty good. This is what we gotta do, we gotta check this. Just potatoes. Yeah. Mm hmm. Potatoes are ready. Perfectly cooked. See? And the potatoes are ready basically means the meat is ready. It takes about just as much time. Now, I'm gonna put these vegetables in. Just like this. Okay? That's it. Just like that. Okay? Because this is gonna take another maybe 10, 10 minutes to cook. And that'll be that. So, we're almost there. 10 minutes to plate. Stay tuned. Now, it's been about almost an hour. Give or take a few minutes. I think we're done. Let's check the veggies. We put them in about 10 minutes ago. Oh yeah, look at those. Look at those. And let's plate. Look at that. Did you look at that? What a rascally wabbit. This piece of dirt looks pretty good. Put the lemon right on top. Okay. Let's grab some potatoes. Okay. Put them around with some veggies. Go anywhere, it can't move. It's surrounded, see? Right? And I'm gonna take some broth. Just put it all around, right on top of the potatoes and vegetables. Right? Okay, this, this meal calls for a knife and a fork. Fork and a okay. Might have to do a little cutting. Okay. Today we're doing a Pinot Grigio from Chile. You can do a, uh, a Chardonnay or um, a Sancerre or a Cote de Ron or um, basically any a Bordeaux or any white you want uh, to complement this. And uh, the proof is in the pudding. Why don't you just try it, right? So we're gonna try it. 
Let's see. Okay, there's the meaty side. It's, it's, it's a bit of a sliver here. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. All of that marinade that's been sitting in there, the lemon juice, you can taste the herbs. Everything that's been sitting in there for over 24 hours. Mmm. And you can taste it. And voila. The wolf's did rascally rabbit. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Another episode of Cab Cabernet's Dine of the Day. I am Cab Cabernet, that is Chef Cabernet to you. And as always, I will remind you all that eating well is living well. Bon appetit. Cheers. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab 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 Cabernet.